If your child is over 35 pounds, you cannot use the latch system. The latch is only for children under 35 pounds. Hello, this is Adam, the certified car seat technician with Infant Toddler Youth and the Pump Station and Nurturery. And we're going to show you how to install the Diono Radian RXT rear facing using the latch system. Remember, before you install your car seat, always read your manual so that way you know how to install the car seat in your specific vehicle. Now, before we install this rear facing, there is some prep we need to do. Diona does come with a recline boot that needs to be put on before we can do a rear facing installation. So under the car seat, we're gonna get the recline boot, we're gonna stick it on, and we're going to lock it in place. Next latch system is stored behind the car seat and to get them out, you're gonna push the red button on the connectors. Once you push the red button, they're gonna pop right out. All right, so the latch connectors are attached to the same strap. So to get as much room as possible to work with, we're gonna loosen it up. You're gonna find this metal plate, you're gonna pull it back, and then you're gonna pull it away from the strap to loosen it. And we're just gonna get it as loose as possible. On the side of the car seat, there is a rear facing belt path and a front facing belt path. We're of course gonna use the rear facing. So you're gonna grab one of the connectors, make sure it's right set up, nothing is twisted or tangled. You're gonna feed it through the rear facing belt path. So it's gonna go in one side, it's gonna come out the other side. And now you have one latch coming out from each side of the car seat. Now on one side of the latch connector, there is a loosening and tightening panel. You wanna make sure this panel is facing away from the car seat. You don't want it facing the car seat because then you won't be able to loosen and tighten properly. So make sure you get this set up how it should be. Now that we have the recline boot and latches set, we can go to the car and get this adjusted. Okay, so let's set the car seat down on the vehicle seat. And you need to know where the latches are in your vehicle. In my car, there are these little gray buttons that have a picture of a car seat. And right below the buttons, there's an opening in the fabric. And inside the opening is the little metal latch bar. So there's a set on the passenger side and a set on the driver's side in most vehicles. If you can find them or don't know where they are, or if your car even has them, be sure to check the manual of your vehicle and they'll show you exactly where they are in the car. And a lot of the times there'll be some sort of indicator like this button here. Okay. Now that we know where the latches are, let's attach the connectors. Once again, make sure the strap is not twisted or tangled and make sure the connector is right side up. It should look like a whale or a staple head and the red unlocking button should be facing up. I'm gonna line this up with the metal latch bar and just push it on. I heard a clicking sound to let me know that the latch actually attached. Now I can do the same thing for the other side. Make sure nothing is twisted or tangled. Make sure it's right side up. I'm gonna line it up with the latch on this side and push it in. There's the clicking sound, it's secure. Now we need to position the car seat against the back of the vehicle seat. On the recline boot, there's like a little wedge that's designed to slide into in between your seat cushion. So I'm gonna get that in between. Get the car seat as far into the vehicle seat as possible. And now we can begin to tighten. Over here on this side is my tightening strap. I'm gonna pull on the strap to get it nice and snug. As I'm pulling on the strap, I'm gonna use my arm and weight to push down on the car seat. And I'm gonna slowly rock the chair from side to side. And I'm gonna keep going back and forth. And as I'm shifting the weight from side to side, I'm continuing to tighten the strap. So it's gonna tighten up little by little. And whenever you feel like this is tight enough, you're gonna use one hand, you're gonna grab it from either side, grab it as close to the rear facing belt path as possible. And all you're looking for is an inch of movement. If the car seat does not slide more than an inch from side to side or front to back, just like this, then you're good to go. 
If the car seat does slide more than an inch, then you need to continue to tighten it. The part of the car seat that worries parents the most is the back of the car seat. So on the back of the car seat, there's still a lot of weight because this is a rear facing installation. So the back of the car seat is still gonna go side to side. It's still gonna go up and down. And that's just gonna happen with all car seats. They're all gonna have movement. Some will have more than others. But when the car seats work, is if an accident were to happen, the car seat absorbs the crash force and redistributes it. Instead of the force being released on the little one, it's released on the back here. So never test the car seat from the back. This part is just gonna move. Like I said, in some cars, it moves more than others. The only place it shouldn't be moving from is the belt path. So that's why you only want to test it from there. And most car seats do not allow the car seat to touch the seat in front of it. So after you've installed it, be sure that the chair in front is not pushing or touching the car seat. Your hand should be able to fit in between. Um, if this car seat is taking up too much room in your vehicle, the Ono does sell angle adjusters that can slide under the chair to move the chair a little bit more upright and give the front seat a little bit more room. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe to support the channel. We'll see you next time.